then how do we prove to ourselves that we're really doing it and not just talking about it, not just thinking about it, not just understanding it, but we're really in the game. It comes down to what I call the pursuit of the OSM. Now, let me explain what I mean here by way of metaphor. You are looking here at a picture of Jimmy Shea. Jimmy Shea won the gold medal in the previous Winter Olympics in the men's skeleton event. Skeleton is an extreme sport. It takes place on like the luge run or the toboggan run, this track of snow going down the mountain at a very severe angle. The difference is that the skeleton board is a little thing. It's like the size of a baking pan. And they lie down on this thing. And as you can see from the picture here, they go head first down the mountain at about a million miles an hour with the chin six inches off of the ice as they're screaming down the mountain. So for those of you that happen to see skeleton on TV or wherever, what were you thinking when you were watching these people? You're nuts, right? You're out of your mind. That's why we call it an extreme sport. These people are extremely nuts. So I'm not suggesting that you have to take up skeleton in order to understand extreme leadership, but imagine for a moment that you wanted to, okay? You saw it on TV, you thought it looked pretty cool, you figured you'd give it a try for yourself. So you go out, you get your equipment, get yourself a baking pan, you know, uh, steal your kid's bicycle helmet, and now the day finally arrives where you get, you, you get to try this out. So you, you, you walk up to the mountain, you look up at the track from down here, and you're thinking, this is gonna be cool. And then you take the lift up to the top of the mountain, you got your board in your hand, and you step up to the edge, and you look down. What's the angle like from up here? There's no angle from up here. It's a straight drop into the abyss, right? So now your hands are shaking on the board, the sweat's breaking out of your forehead, your heart's beating in your chest, and you're thinking, well, you know what? Um, I'm not so sure about this. Um, but I made it this far, so I'm just going to try it for a little bit and see if I like it. So you, you lie down on the board, you're teetering on the edge, finally you take a deep breath, you push off, and bang, before you know it, you're going 1,000 miles an hour, and you suddenly realize that you are now 100% committed to this idea, right? <laughs> there is no turning back now, and typically at that point in the process, there are two words that come to mind. What are they? What are they? Oh, shit, those are the words. M stands for moment. You got the idea? All right. <laughs> Listen, I know it's indelicate, but that's the way it is. So here, here's what I'm suggesting. The OSM, the OSM is the natural built-in indicator that we have as human beings that we are doing or about to do something that has extraordinary potential. There's no such thing as personal growth without the OSM. There's no such thing as living up to a big commitment without the OSM. And bottom line is, there's no such thing as leadership without that frequent experience of the OSM. Pure and simple. You know this from your own experience already. Look at any time you've taken on a leadership role or a leadership endeavor or a, leader, or, or a big project or you lived up to a commitment or you heard something come out of your mouth and you said, oh, now I've got to do it. Tell me there was no OSM there. Tell me, that, how many of you are married? Think back to your wedding day. Come on, tell me there was no OSM on your wedding day. That's what happens, you know. I mean, sure we're in love, but we're still saying, oh shit. I mean, that's the way it works. I've had, I mean, I've had, I've had, that, I've had that experience twice, as a matter of fact. The, the, uh, it's just, it's the nature of the beast. It's the nature of leadership. 